Hey guys, how's it going? This is Shanahan. Every Thursday, I'm going to be posting a very short uh, video slash tutorial here of quick tips that I want to show on any plugins, any synths, um, any techniques that I may have. Really simple stuff that sometimes uh, we overlook while we're producing. And also, it may be something that you're just not um, aware about yet. So I really want to try to do a quick tip every Thursday. Um, if you guys have any suggestions or anything you feel like I could cover, feel free to uh, shoot a comment below or inbox me. The first video I want to go over is with the LFO tool. Everyone's familiar with this as a sidechain uh, plugin that you can use in your dance tracks. Um, you have your rate you can adjust in the 4 4, half note, etc. There's really cool things you can do with this plugin. But something a lot of people bump into is this clicking or a clipping sound that this. Um, LFO tool produces now it's not specifically from the LFO tool it's it's the sound that you're using in the plugin and how it's processing through the LFO tool it's creating a click and it's a really simple way to get rid of that so if we hear the piano you'll be hearing a clicking sound at the end of the notes and you obviously don't want that this happens a lot with sine bass lines um, a lot of different bass lines you can hear it's really apparent and there's such a simple way to fix this um, a you can go into the synth and adjust the attack as we could hear on the piano but we're not going to do that because it's a piano sound um, that's a quick way you could do it with bass lines etc um, a quick way in the LFO tool a lot of people overlook the smooth option you can see Steve Duda actually typed in uh, useful to prevent clicks if you move that over a slight bit it's gonna almost delay this a little bit and make it a lot smoother you can see that fixed it now uh, the other way to do it a lot of people don't actually adjust their side chains this way everyone thinks just create that curve to uh, dip out the kick that's absolutely correct but you also can roll off your side chain and if you bring open this uh, visualizer, visualizer you can see how um, rough and kind of uh, sharp it goes out it's very very sudden so if you roll this off you'll see back here it'll go out a little bit smoother so that's another that's another way you have uh, to roll off this release change the smooth and change your attack inside your plugin hopefully that helped you out and I'll see you guys next Thursday